Hello y'all, this is Autumn of Nations, the world of 1848, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod set in a world where the revolutions of 1848 were successful. With that said, in this video we are going to play as the Frankfurt Republic, which is essentially Germany. Here is a brief history of the nation known as the Frankfurt Republic. The German Revolution in 1848 was easily the most important one. The German Empire formed and with it a unified Germany. Today Germany is seen as the model for a Western liberal democracy after Frederick III stepped down in 1876. Yet in recent years Germany's focus has shifted away from colonial expansion and trade to actively fighting for democracy abroad if needed by fully mobilizing the armies. We have begun. Let's go to our national overview. In it we can see that we have two national spirits and they are confusing electoral system and Ethiopian support. France is fighting Ethiopia and we are supporting them. And besides that the ruling ideology of the Frankfurt Republic is democratic. It's a democracy led by the Liberal Party of Germany and it's led by Theodor Huss who historically served as the first president of West Germany from 1949 to 1959. He had quite a long political career and was affiliated with many parties over the years, though he seems to be associated the most with the German Democratic Party and the Free Democratic Party. And besides that, we lead a, we lead a faction called the Kiel Accords, which consists of, well, it consists of the Frankfurt Republic and their subjects, which includes the Netherlands, the Republic of Milan, and the Republic of San Marco, which is in Venice. Basically, it's San Marco is right over here. And the Netherlands, we do have an extent we do have another country in our faction, that is the Dutch East Indies, who is a puppet of our puppet, essentially, since they're a subject of the Netherlands. And you can tell the Dutch are subjects of the Germans themselves because they have a German well they're puppet democracy of the Frankfurt Republic due to their flag they have a German tricolor in the top left corner of their flag and besides that the German Republic does control colonies which well we have overseas territories basically Nigeria Uganda Rwanda Rwanda Burundi Kenya Smiland German Smiland Madagascar and what else what, am I, what else am I looking for I think we have Hong Kong as well looking at let me zoom in here this is Hong Kong, I'm pretty sure the, the British didn't get it. So we control that, and also we control this base here in Morocco. So quite a few overseas colonies for the Germans. And let's look at our military. We have 48 divisions in total. Some of them are colonial divisions, they're just regiments. We have 9 fleets, and we have 11 air wings. So what we're going to do is right now is bring together our troops and form a couple different armies. So let's do this. And Army 1 will be led by this commander here, Hans von Griffenberg. And then Erwin Rommel can lead this force here. Who er Erwin, Erwin Rommel is obviously the famous tank commander in our timeline. He still is around here. And does he even lead any tank divisions? Give him one tank division. I think we only have one anyway. So that works. Give these guys a field marshal. Army Group 1 will be formed, and there we are. Move them all to the French border, or maybe, yeah, move them all to the border of the Second French Republic, which is led by Napoleon, and he lead, they lead a faction called the Pact of Ajaciato, which consists of them and the United Mexican States. And France is fighting Ethiopia at this point in time. So let's get the rest of our divisions that are overseas in Africa and in Asia. They're gonna end up being used for garrison duty. So here we go, Felix Steiner, you're on garrison. So just defend victory points and ports in Africa and in Asia. Well, in German-held territory on those continents, obviously. So Nigeria here, don't worry about the homie. Don't worry about that. Get this army, though. Defend this, please. You guys have a lot of land to look after. Look after that. And we get this division here in Morocco, the 10th Colonial Regiment. Guard this. Good. One more, a couple more divisions. This one in Madagascar, and they'll look after Madagascar, look after the island there. Who else am I missing? Oh, these guys in Hong Kong. That's going to be... Okay, they're, they're going to watch Hong Kong and other places, 
And also, besides Germany controlling Hong Kong and some different places in Africa than the German Empire controlled in our own world, the French have also, they have also different colonies. So for example, French Indochina is a thing, but there's also French China. It's a lot, it's pretty big, well, relatively speaking, China's still divided in the Ottoman nations mod as well. But the French also control, say, Borneo here, and Papua New Guinea, and part of what would be considered the Philippines in our world. And the Philippines are communist in this mod, which is okay. So I don't know what happened there. They just are communist. Here's a couple divisions. Give them to Army 1. There we go. Any more divisions? Oh, these guys up here in Danzig. We do control Danzig. We start off with that. Outdated equipment and production. I think it's ships. Yeah, these destroyers here. Don't worry about that. Research slot available. Let's do basic stuff. Basic machine tools. Just uh, fundamentals. Fundamentals. The stuff. The research you always get when you start a new game of Hearts of Iron 4. When you play the base game and usually mods. So here's a division in the Netherlands. Go to Army 1. There we are. We're going to watch France put this factory on gun production. And why are we making old rifles? I guess we're just stockpiling them? I don't know. But we're going to make Manilichur M95 number 1s and Carabiner 98Ks. Alright then. So in our focus tree, let's complete the 60th Republic anniversary. As the Empire faced problems and growing instability, the Emperor voluntarily stepped down in 1876 and transferred all power to the Parliament in Frankfurt. This fundamental, this fundamental moment in our history will have its 60th anniversary this year. Time for celebration. And free civilian factories, put them to work. Get all that done, just make more civilian factories for the Frankfurt Republic. No divisions in basic training, let's change that. Get a couple divisions here, also make a handful of colonial regiments to act as garrisons abroad. And that's done now. Insufficient resources, trade Siam Malay, no, Dutch East Indies for rubber. That will help our issues for resources. And I will say, I will, I think the Frankfurt Republic is sort of like the Weimar Republic, which had its name. It was the Republic of Germany, essentially, but it had its name because the Constitution was drawn up in the city of Weimar or town of Weimar. So I guess it's a similar case for the Frankfurt Republic here. It's obviously the Republic of Germany, but it's just called the Frankfurt Republic. And our capital is in Frankfurt, which is, it's different to see a German state in Hoi Four where the capital is not Berlin. That is just a change of pace, I suppose. And our divisions are all over the French border. What can we do with them? I don't know, send volunteers. We could intervene in the Ethiopian War. Hey, let's intervene in the Ethiopian War. So get three divisions together from Germany, and we're gonna help out the Ethiopians, get a few commanders, get who, would this guy be good? No, Wilhelm List, Fredrikpolis, I don't know. Get this guy. He has like the best. Who has the best defensive traits? Okay, get Wilhelm List actually. So we're gonna go and send volunteers to Ethiopia. Possibly Will they allow it. Two. They'll take two divisions. And Ethiopia is led by a queen. So let's take two divisions here. Put these guys back with the army they're from. The first army. And this fourth army will be on their way to Ethiopia with the 12th and 26th division of the Frankfurt Republic. Hopefully don't, they don't get annihilated in the fighting, but we'll see. Ethiopia is quite outnumbered here, I believe, but we'll do what we can and try to push back the French where possible. We, we are doing this to get military EXP, essentially, because I would like to change my infantry template a little bit, get another battalion of artillery, which would give us more, more well, more capabilities of, I don't know, whatever. The, the divisions have arrived. And it's Japan. They've sent divisions as well, didn't they? Did they do that? I guess they did. Ethiopia wants to resupply ships in our ports. And what is going on? How many divisions are here? Oh, they have military access. Why? Oh, they're Lindley's. It's Lin Oh, so hunt the British have sent the Ethiopians volunteers. So has Japan. And Britain in this, in Ottoman, na in Ottoman nations, does lead their own faction. It's called the Triple Alliance, consisting of them, the Cooperative of, Brit of Belgium, and the People's Confederation of Canada, and that is the Triple Alliance. So let's get this army here, set them up on this front line. That will work for now. That's two divisions, so any volunteers are better than none. And our goal is just to drag out this war in order in order to weaken France in the long term. 
So 60th Republic anniversary is done. Now let's complete the focus to 1936 election, which will take 28 days to complete. And it says, as well, every four years the people are able to elect the Chancellor of Germany. This year is expected to be an interesting one, with the with the current Chancellor Theodor Herz standing for re-election, and his competitor Heinrich Brüning, a staunchly religious Catholic who openly called for the return of the German lands in the East, battling it out at the ballot box. So. We're going to have that happen soon. And I think the only path, well, the, the, what is it, the Bruning path doesn't really exist at this point in time. It hasn't been, it has not, well, it's a work in progress. So we just have the house, the Theodore House path we can do. And the Bohemian Empire has remilitarized Bohemia. Maximilian of Habsburg Lorraine has announced yesterday that the Treaty of Karlsbad is still known, is null and void and has prepared his troops to enter Bohemia for the first time in years. This has come years after building up and posturing. As support for a military response is low, we have to let it happen. But in turn, the Sudanland will be militarized as well. They leave us no choice. And Sudanland was demilitarized. It's no longer now, though. And Sudanland is a core. No, the Bohemian Empire has a claim on it. So let's move the entirety of Army Group 1 in Germany proper over here. Go watch Prague and Bohemia. So. Bohemian Empire, it's led by Maximilian of Habsburg Lorraine, and he is fascist, and he is on good relations with fascist Slovakia, which is a thing. And now, modify Officer Corps. Actually, don't do that. We got a bunch of, we got a bunch of political power from that focus earlier. Get a political advisor, get a war industrialist, Walter Funk there, so he'll be on board. And let's unpause now, and continue our little adventure in Ethiopia. Just keeping the French occupied. That's all we gotta do. Keep them busy and make sure they don't get very far when it comes to defeating, well, make sure they don't get to Addis Ababa. Just prevent them from getting there. Just stand stand in their way. And now we have the election of 1936. The campaigns have been hard fought, but the time has come for the German people to choose their chancellor. The experts predicted a close race with no clear winner in sight. Let's see who won, and host stays another term and like I said before, the alternate path to Theodore Hus is not in, it's a work in progress, so he will stay another term, Theodore will. And now in focus tree, let's complete the 14 day long focus to host re-election. Theodore Hus and the Liberal Party have won the election. Now comes the time to see if he is willing and able to fulfill his comp campaign promises. That's gonna, not, that's gonna be done shortly. And the French are attacking our lines. They aren't getting very far though. We're helping out the Ethiopian troops here. Yeah, French are struggling, aren't they? They cannot break through the German volunteer divisions at all. And the Ethiopians, it looks like, have pushed a little bit into Sudan. No national focus set. Let's do reform the electoral system. And it says here, the current electoral system is, a st well, it's still held out from the 1848 revolution, allowing the states to set their own, often contradictory, contradictory guidelines and rules. This has slowly diminished the faith in democracy for some people. A compre I, what am I saying? A comprehensive reform is needed and put right at the top of host's house's schedule. And this will get rid of that national spirit, a confusing electoral system, which is quite a rough one to have. And in our focus, well, what can, what can we do? Let me go to, say, change economic law, possibly free trade. Let's go to free trade. Do free trade. And get mechanical computing done. Good. Start doing that for the research speed. Here's a new, well, a group of new colonial regiments. Send them out to Felix Steiner's units spread out over the overseas territories of the Frankfurt Republic. The Germans, I mean, the French are pushing forward slightly. They are fighting the Japanese volunteers. The Japanese and British volunteers are fighting together against the French. Now, oh boy. Election. Public demands rearmament. The ongoing war approach okay, the ongoing war approaching our borders has loomed over the upcoming election, with many voters being concerned that the Frankfurt Republic is not prepared for being thrown into this conflict or whatever may arise from it. They demand we increase our precautions and ensure that our nation is ready for war. While the majority still support the Liberal Party, we may lose them to more radical elements if we don't alleviate their apprehensions. Sure. And by taking the well, the people have the right to feel safe. And by taking this decision, we'll go to early mobilization and limited conscription. We'll also get 5% base war support. So that's a boon for us. We now have more manpower. And 
less consumer good factories, I believe. I think. What can we do at this point? Well, we've got to wait for the electoral reform to be done before we can start reinforce the Kale Accord. Let's complete the focus compared to East African Railway. I reckon 42 day long focus and it says here Eastern Africa has been has been under our control for some time yet the colonies remain divided by building a railroad stretching from the Red Sea to Dutch Tanganyika the east of Africa shall truly be under our control and now research slot available let's complete concentrated industry one unassigned divisions new infantry groups assign them to army one that will make up for the divisions we sent off to Ethiopia who are still doing fine as far as far as I know or no they're not even under attack at this point so they are doing well they're doing what they're meant to do hold the line here though just attack these attack this group of French tanks and drive them back in the Sudan and like I like I said our ultimate strategy oh great I gotta worry about Djibouti don't I let's turn around and fight Djibouti or we'll let the Japanese and the British fight the French at Djibouti they're pushing pretty hard I will say that we may have to protect the capital yeah, prepare to East African Railway is done. Let's move move back and defend the Ethiopian capital for the sake of our volunteer force here. So move around here and get ready to go. Move out, reposition. They're advancing pretty hard. We could try to sneak up on that port. Cause the French, actually, never mind. They're going to reinforce that port. Now in focus tree, what can we do? We can't do we can't do finished East African Railway because we got to wait for it a railroad investment thing here to disappear which will take 180 days I guess we'll do the focus German Legion and it says here Germany hasn't fought a major war in some time this doesn't mean our brave soldiers aren't willing or able to fight for democracy wherever it is threatened German legions will soon flood into foreign battlefields and protect the values of unity justice and freedom and this will hand us a national spirit which does the following Send volunteers tension limit minus 100% and max volunteer force divisions plus 3. And that is something significant for more smaller wars. But let's try to hold on in Ethiopia now. We're going to take that cap that's port in Djibouti. Please, we've got to help out Ethiopia. German Legion is done. Let's give the Ethiopians more volunteers, in fact. And Wilhelm List will lead them. We'll have to get, give them another general, though. Or maybe not. Let me see here. So Army 5 will be sent to Ethiopia. Can we do that? Send volunteers. Oh, we can send them, oh no, even more divisions. Okay, sure, we'll send them five divisions. Wow, so we could actually probably just really make it rough for the French, couldn't we? So a few more divisions here for the 5th Army, which is going to merge with the 4th Army already in Ethiopia. And that is going to be a significant force to just trouble the French there. Send volunteers now. They're on their way. And... That's not it. We gotta deselect some units or something. Two divi Oh wait, we gotta. Oh wait, can we can only send three. I misread that. Whoops. Okay, so let me fix this here. Get get back in Army One. These two divisions will. Either way, five divisions in Ethiopia will make a difference, I would think. And looking at the manpower for each infantry division in Germany, that is at least about 50,000 soldiers in Ethiopia just intervening there against France. And right now, let's give some artillery to our divisions. Good. I need to probably expand production for artillery, don't I? Yes, I need to definitely do that. We're going to need some military factories soon. So get started on building those. It is June, well, July 1936. Let's complete the focus. What can I do here? Complete the focus. Finished a five-year plan. Started in 1932. The five-year plan was put in place to keep up with the economical might. The economical might of France and Britain. Now the last touches had to be added to fulfill the plan, and this will boost construction speed by 10% for a year, well almost a year, 360 days, 5 days off. Special football news, okay, today marked the last game of the German football national, well marked the last game of the German national football league, the Football Oberliga, the German teams played all year and a Bavarian team of Firth managed to beat Nuremberg in an exciting 2-3 game in overtime. This derby also proved the last obstacle for the youngest trainer in Overliga history. History, what am I saying? Heinz Kissinger, nicknamed Schwarzenegger, formed well, former local, local player from Firth. Just barely after his 18th birthday, he managed to win the league. Described as a as a what am I saying? Described as a strategic genius, he put a middling Firth team straight to the top. His future surely surely will hold great things, and I wonder if we'll get any more soccer events. 
And in other news that isn't related to football, are well, we got some new divisions here going to Africa. Well, our volunteers, off, more volunteers have arrived in Ethiopia, I think, or no, they haven't. They were sent off. They accepted volu- They accepted the volunteers more accurately. You guys, please hold. Got to take your booty. And did the British, or no? Never mind. We got to help out the help out the help out the Ethiopians here. This is getting annoying. Can our volunteers make it in time, please? They're going to lose their capital. They've arrived. We got to defend the capital of our ally. Good. And well, our the country we are aiding, I won't say ally just yet. They aren't part of our faction or anything like that. So three new divisions here, bring, merged in with Army 4, and now Army 4 will defend a larger front line. we we'll just defend here. Or no, we had to hold that area here due to encirclements, possibly. So get the units deployed, go defend the capital, use last stand, and hold down the enemy for now. Got to get units to Addis Ababa. And Ethiopia is being split in half. They lost their city. They lost their capital. That's not good for them. Take back their capital. We'll do that for them. Get down there, though. Are they pushing forward? I think they are. That could be bad. They're going to lose. It's over. It has to be over. What do they have left? They lost their capital, so it has to be over. They lost their important cities. This o- this conflict has to finish. Or no. I mean, I mean, you'd think it would. The French control nearly everything. Attack Addis Ababa, though. We weren't in time. We should have focused on defending that instead. And this war needs to end. Come on. We no longer get the effects of the confusing electoral system. We're trying to take Lisa Baba back. We'll aim to do that anyway. If we can accomplish it, I don't know. There's a lot of French divisions there. Military staff, let's get, I don't know, Army Offense, Franz Halder. Get him as the chief of the army. Push on the Ethiopian capital. Capture it. The French are just moving in so many troops. It's absurd. Take back this area, and it's over. The Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia is now a thing. Our volunteers are returning home. In our focus, tree less complete, reinforced to kill accord, which says it's a 42-day-long focus. It says the kill accord, the kill accords have been a cornerstone for our continental foreign politics. Although a powerful alliance, it is held up mostly by our might. We need to remake. We need to make sure our friends won't fall behind us too much, and this will create the kill accords research group, which will include all of our countries, well, all of the country all the member states well all the factions member states as well as sweden and austria for some reason free dockyards let's get now let's build what can we build build some ships build we'll build the shornhurst class vessels our units have arrived home give them all over to army one do that now the other volunteers have they made it back or were they destroyed oh no no they're here these are oh different army what am i thinking so now we have a full army at this point for Army 2. No. What was it? Army. Army. What am I thinking here? Army. Army 1 now has max capacity. And let's complete this focus here, looking north. The German Danish relationship has been stressed ever since Germany liberated Schleswig from Denmark in 1855. The time has come to stop the bickering and step forward in a friendly, well, into a friendly economic alliance. A shared customs union will bring prosperity to the Danish and the Germans. As part of the agreement, we were asked to dismantle our bunkers along the border, which we ha- happily accepted. So we're going to improve our relations with the Danes to the north. Here's some new colonial regiments. And I think for now, I don't know, get a few more made. At least 35 colonial regiments should be fine. And we need to build up some railways, don't we? Yes, we don't have hardly any railways here. This is frustrating. I don't like that front line at all. It's too hard to defend. But I mean, I don't know. It just, we need to control the railways in Austria. Because this is such a narrow line. It's irritating. Modify Officer Corps. I'm going to get a war. I'm going to get a industrialist political advisor. So I just need to save political power. Get a captain of industry. Since we did that finish to five year plan focus. And this focus, speaking of focuses, looking north will be done soon. We're going to lose some land for it, but it should be worth it. That's done now. And help Sweden. Sweden has been, it says here, Sweden has been born from the break of the, of the United Kingdom in 1914. And ever since has been our closest Scandinavian ally. I guess the United Kingdom refers to the United Kingdom of Sweden and Norway or something like that. Today it faces the threat of communism right across its border. We can't allow them to fall to this ideology. And so... Sweden will get some military factories from this focus. 
and we'll give them some German artillery and weapons. Well, rifles and stuff like that. Let's complete the focus radio now. Also, start doing improved machine tools. That's going to take 130 days or something like that, possibly. And I'm keeping a close eye on close eye on the Bohemian Empire, who has quite a few armored divisions. That is just an observation I am making. And I am a little concerned it may eventually try to attack us, but I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Once we get done with the help Sweden focus, I may decide to realign Finland. We'll complete that focus. Or, or do guns for our Italian allies. Guns for our Italian allies might be more useful because at least I would be aiding countries that are already in our faction instead of prospective ones and modified government. Can we? Oh yeah, gotta get that captain of industry for faster civilian factory, civilian factory, infrastructure, railway, and refinery construction speed. Make it just go faster. That's what the captain of industry political advisor does. And let me make a offensive line here just in case we have some conflict break out with our neighbor in what would be considered the Czech well lands of Bohemia and Morovia all those places modify officer corps military high command I don't know what to do there no not okay let's do guns for our Italian allies yeah so complete that that will take 42 days it says here Italy seems to be a powder keg at the moment our allies in the north are at a disadvantage should war break out. A sizable investment should help them out greatly. So to get, they'll get a bunch of guns as well as some military factories. Well, one military factory. But they'll get, still get tons of German equipment. And here is some more colonial regiments. Send them off overseas. Research slot available. What can we do? Construction 2. Complete that. And we got to get more divisions created, don't we? I believe we do. I mean, we need more artillery. Without a doubt, we do need a lot more artillery to be made. And how is everything going with civilian factories? We'll have about 30 up soon enough. Well, 30 civilian factories that will be building things constantly. I need to go to partial. Well, I can't go to. I could go to partial mobilization soon. I will. I'm just going to save political power and do that. And in our focus tree, let's complete Italian bunkers. It says here. Let me read this. It says, Our North Italian allies don't have enough manpower to stop a unified foe from the south, but by placing fortifications along the border, we can help defend them much better. So that adds a bunch of land forts to the Republic of San Marco and Milan, and hopefully that will give them more defensive capabilities so they don't get destroyed by, say, the Kingdom of Piedmont over here. Av available planes in reserve. What do we have? We have... We have interwar fighters, and they're going to go, okay, new air wing there. Anything else? No, we're fine right now, I would say. So that's enough, just one new air squadron. That should, I mean, I want to have each squadron be 100 planes, so that's going to have to work for now. And let me see here, Italian bunkers is done. This focus here, I have no clue what it does, and it doesn't really say... Forget that then. Doesn't really do anything. Let's complete the focus. Finished East African Railway. Well, that Italian, that German answer for the Italian question focus, I'm not really sure what it does, if anything at all. Finished East African Railway. The plans have been drawn. The workers have been dug. Well, the workers have dug and the tracks have been laid. The coastal railroad, railroad from Barbara to Dar es Salaam is finished. And with a, a true improvement for our colonies. And now research slot available once more. Concentrated Industry 2. Here's some new divisions. These are colonial regiments. They're being sent off now. They should be guarding a lot of ports. And is this a war? Oh, it's a border conflict over Nord Pass de Calais. The French may want that land, I think. That's what that's over. So the French, well, Britain starts off controlling Calais. Calais. So the French, the French Republic does want that. I don't know how the British got Calais. Calais, whatever. Just that part of France. In the lore of this world, they just have it. And in our focus tree, let's complete Nigerian rubber. The colony of Nigeria is our main rubber supplier. With advancements in airplanes and cars, the hunger for rubber has never been greater. Nigeria is ready for a massive investment into its rubber industry. And I will just add a bunch of that resource in Nigeria for us to use for our, for our airplane manufacturing, especially. And... What well, can we do? Artillery upgrades? Yes, get an artillery upgrade. Interwar artillery. That will help us out. Modify government. 
political advisor. Get the... I don't know. Who can we get here? Julius Lieber, who will give us connected citizen or something like that. That's his trait. Well, that's the type of political advisor he is. He'll give us higher political power gain and higher stability, which should be helpful. Free dockyards, build more... Build more stuff. And we're almost... We're going to make convoys soon, aren't we? Yeah, let's put at least one dockyard on convoys. And have we merged our navies at all? I forgot about that, I think. No, we haven't. So let me go ahead and do that. Bring everything together. That's what we have to do. Everything we've constructed since we've started and everything we had at the beginning. So just bring this all together, send it all to Western Elms and I guess Wilhelm, Wilhelm's Haven or something. Nigerian rubber is done. Good. And now let's do the focus request Tanganyika. The Dutch were given Tanganyika by Germany to appease France and its fear of a solely German colonial East Africa. Now the time has come to ask the Netherlands for our colony back. With a German house currently occupying the throne, this shouldn't be a problem. Now let's go ahead and move away our army from the Bohemian Empire to the Netherlands to give them some, some encouragement. Just place all of our units over here. They're moving away from Bohemia. Unassigned divisions, new infantry units, good. And what are we missing the production of? I don't know. But let's get more military factories made. Got to build as many as possible for a potential war down the line. That would be ideal, I think. So these units here are watching the Dutch. And they should say yes to our focus. And here is, if I'm on, let me see here. So Tanjanaika, Tanzania, it's right here. This land, the Dutch currently control. I suppose we'll have our colonial army occupy it for now. Just look after it. Select a technology to research. Excavation 2. Do all that. And how many more regiments should we make? I don't know. These divisions are tiny. They have like six combat width. They're not very large individually. They just have numbers. And did the, du did the Dutch say yes? No? Well, they should say yes. Whatever. Get these divisions moved around though. Go to Africa and everywhere else. And in our focus tree, let's say we demand a greater slice. One just needs to look at a map of the world and see how far the empire of our neighbor stretches. Those territories and protectorates boost the French economy and provide them with important fueling stations all over the world. We demand the same status as our neighbor. That's a 42 day long focus. And now chief of the Navy, get Eric, I don't know, chief of the Air Force. Who can we get here? Theorist. Get a... I don't know. Who can we get here? Let's get an air warfare theorist. That will work for now. Free dockyards. Build more convoys. And build some marines. Perhaps. Or destroyers. The Netherlands folds. So that's an end to our, solution, our problem. Well, that particular issue in Africa. And it says here, the Netherlands agreed to our contract after the construction of the greatest railroad Eastern Africa has ever seen which benefited Tanganyika greatly. It's only fair for us to protect our assets. A great day. Yes, okay. We'll control that land, that land now, though. So let's go ahead and move some garrison troops into that area. So that's more land for the Third Army to protect, essentially. There we are. Any more divisions? Let's boost the amount of colonial regiments we have overseas. And we're just going to have to rely on great numbers of those guys in the event of a conflict. Available planes in reserve. Do we have, okay, 100 close air interwar bombers. We'll use, put those out now. More fighters, good. And we have a slightly bigger air force at this point. Free dockyards, make destroyers or something. Free military factories. We can make more weapons, I would say. Maybe, or more support equipment or artillery. We need more artillery and support equipment. We no longer need to trade for rubber, so let me stop that now. Get some tungsten. No, yeah, tungsten from the United States. Thank you. And let us get our... What can we do at this point? Build more... To, well, just make more units overall. Make a panzer division. We no longer get the effects from the five-year plan that has worn off, so it will take longer to create... Fact, well, make factories now. And in our focus tree, let's complete West African Friends. The first step to grow our presence on the African continent is to establish treaties of friendship with potential protectorates and put permanent diplomats into their palaces. 
That, yeah, they, that definitely sounds like friends to me. Clearly. Not just German, well, the German Republic trying to take over everything with their friendship, the power of friendship. And we eventually will get war goals on a few places. We'll fight the Ottomans, it sounds like. It looks like that anyway. And do we even have any access to any place there? Okay, so Sweden is now fighting the Norse workers' state. The constitutional kingdom of Sweden is going to face communist Norway, essentially. And why do these guys have... Oh, they're guaranteed by us. You want to join our faction? Invite... Inf okay, we can't invite them to the faction. Never mind. Constitutional industry... Oh, that industry thing is done. Now that research is done, let's complete... Support weapons, one, and research marines, one, create the marine corps, research slot available, never mind, modified government, new African friends is completed, we'll get the military high command, go with, who do we get here for military high command, let's get army regrouping, no national focus set, African allies, the first steps have been taken, now our true intentions will be pushed for, those natives can't control their, okay, so, by giving our, a co well, by giving our companies access to those mines and plantations controlled by the African countries, even the natives will see economic growth and stability. And if they refuse, we still got the army. And now I suppose we'll move the German army group into Africa. Well, one of the armies, move army two down here. So just get rid of this unified army group for now. Move army one down here. And we are going to eventually invade the Arabian Peninsula in one way or another, so put all these units in, put them in Somaliland, in Barbera, Barbera, Modify Officer Corps, Spirit of the Academy, let's go with, say, Bold Attack, and where's our Navy at? Merge these all together, that's done now, get them a commander, Cardonets is going to lead them, bring this whole Navy down to the Horn of Africa, I believe, yeah, area down here. So they're going to be in the Red Sea for now, just doing whatever. And just, they're going to establish naval supremacy, and we'll cross over into Yemen or Oman sometime in the near future. And that will take place down the line, once we get done with African allies and stuff. So Army 1's going to arrive, hopefully before that focus is done. Let's also draw up a offensive line, just in case the homie says no. Unassigned divisions, more infantry have been created, bring them to Army 2. And if we make, let's make more divisions overall. Got to rapidly expand the German military. Unassigned divisions, colonial regiments, okay. There's so many of them. Now let's go ahead and have Army 1 have some offensive orders drawn up. Just Army 2, I mean. So let's have, what is this terrain? Mountains. So let's have some Eberg divisions here. Ten divisions overall are going to eventually try to land in, well, they're going to land in Eden, or we should have split them up, have two go for, one go for here, the other one will go for there, this other place, get that done now, and we'll invade Yemen sometime in the future. Not right now, but we'll thank it through. So here's a few divisions, we'll have these guys land here in this Yim, Yemen, Yemeni capital. These guys will land here at Aden, Aden. So that's gonna work. Order's not gonna be activated anytime soon, but when we, when we get there, we will be ready. Here's some more colonial divisions. I wanna maybe have at least, I don't know, I need to have an entire force. I don't know how to say it. I need more, I wanna have 72 divisions for the third army. That would be great. We can accomplish it too, those divisions are small. We need more artillery also. A lot more artillery. So start making more artillery, please. African Allies is done. What do they say? I have no idea. Let's complete the focus. Peace of the Crown Jewel, though. India has history longer than any other country. Uncountable empires amassed riches in its land. All the great nations of Europe once tried to carve out a place in the subcontinent. Now it's our time. The Indian states are weak and won't stand a chance against the might of our army and this focus here how despite how grandiose well it sounds pretty grandiose but it's just going to give us base war support no war goals maybe there's some event related to it after it's finished but who knows did these countries say yes to us or what happened there and to homie resist men march forward 
Oh great, Dahomey resists. The government of Dahomey has chosen to rally around some ill-advised national pride and refuse to hand over their industry and mining operations. Seeing no other way to protect our industry and save face, our armies must march. Hopefully this demeaning affair will be over with quickly. March men march with declared war and Cameroon folds. The government of Cameroon has accepted the reality and hasn't put up any substantial resistance. From now on, German companies can operate with no hindrance inside the country and contribute to our economy. They will benefit as well. Maybe. And we took some civilian factories from Cameroon. Oh well, so our plan here in the home is just make it a puppet of Germany. And we'll advance forward now. Shouldn't be too hard. We're going to overwhelm them with our numbers that we're ready to go. Because I anticipated this reaction take Porto Novo. It's over. The home is capitulated. Do we annex it? Maybe we do. Do they have any resources? Possibly. What do we do? Any resources at all? I'm just looking around here. I don't think they... Oh, they have some. Let's just... Yeah, annex it. And turn. Done. So we took over that land, and let's put Army 1 back in Germany. They're going to watch over the Bohemian Empire. Denmark canceled their non-aggression pact. They didn't want to join our faction. They never expressed any interest in wanting to join. I mean, we had that... We even dismantled bunkers for them, and they didn't want to join then. So Army 1's going home. The home is now part of the German... Well, the German Empire. Well, not a German Empire Empire, but just the German colonial empire, much like the Second French Republic who controls their own colonial empire in North Africa. They aren't really in West Africa, I will say that. Yeah, they never really got there in this timeline, it appears like Mali's independent, Niger, Mauritania, the West African Confederation, just a lot of independent African states, although the Second French Republic does control Senegal, which is interesting. Modified government, what can we do? Peace of the Crown Jewel is done, and Military High Command, do Ferdinand Schuller here, good infantry. He's an infantry expert that should help out our infantry troops. Let's complete thirsty industry. Oil and fuel have made their way into the world and are certain to stay. Recent expeditions into the Arabian Peninsula potentially discovered the greatest oil reserves in the world. This has been brought to our, this has to be brought under our control before any empires, before any other empires take the charge. And is there any oil in Yemen and stuff like that. And here, I think in Hearts of Iron Florida, usually this part of the world should have oil, but it typically doesn't. I think it doesn't because it wasn't, like, developed as much at the time. Okay, they do have some oil. It might be worth it to push into the Middle East. Why is, there's so much oil in Azerbaijan. It's crazy. Wow, that is tons and tons of oil. Whatever. We'll have one army advance into Yemen then at, when the time is right. Go ahead and have the unit, Army 2 ready and move the Nord Sea Flot fleet here, patrolling the Red Sea. They'll be watching out and be ready to do anything. Now let's split up this force. One can act as naval invasion support, and the other one will just patrol the area. There we go. Watch this area here. And so we're waiting for the naval invasion for Yemen. We'll just hit them, then we'll just expand more into, into Arabia, take the second Saudi state, capture Oman, Yemen, all those places. And then eventually, I guess, we'll fight the Ottomans and their puppet army. They'll have to fight our puppet army. And let's complete this research, well, start researching the next, the latest developments in artillery. I just noticed this now, but does Turkey control Crete? I guess they do. Yeah, Turkey is pretty powerful. They're not really the sick, the sick men of Europe and Ottoman nations, aren't they? They're so strong. Like, there's just, wow. And what can we do? Research slot available, complete... Complete, I don't know. Start doing the focus. Get concentrated industry two, three started. 1939 type tech. Here's some more colonial regiments. Send them off. Did they guard? Did I put them in? Okay, they gotta defend to homie. Defend that place. Also guard air bases, please. Thank you. Thirsty industry is done. Let's declare war. Get that started. Declare war on on Yemen and just advance forward. We are going to be fighting a faction here, so that could be more complicated than I like. So let's invade Oman then. Oman and the second Saudi state might be easier. So let me do that. We're not going to invade. So cancel the plans for invading the Bolgeman. I don't know. Could we? I don't know. It'd be worth... It'd be easier after we've taken some land in the Arabian Peninsula, I think. So let's cancel this invasion. That's a whoopsie on my part. I didn't realize Yemen was part of the Ottoman faction. Let's get our navy here. We gotta actually send this force in one of the one we were gonna use for 
ship support just patrolling the Arab Arabian Sea cancel yeah patrol no strike patrol yeah patrol that's enough and we gotta land in Yemen well Oman land in Oman somehow or yeah we gotta do all that so let me split up my forces even more so we can make a move toward the capital of Oman and break up this navy. I don't think Oman's going to have a navy to really oppose us, but i got to do all this anyway. Patrol here. Get all that done. Move into position, please. And let me just make some naval invasion orders. We're going to have five divisions land south of Oman. Then we'll have five of them attack the capital. So tank division will be in the naval invasion. And hopefully that will be enough to overwhelm the enemy, but we'll see. And five divisions will land south in the southern part of the country. Hopefully they don't get annihilated, but we'll see what happens to those about 50,000 German soldiers. No national focus set. Let's complete. What can we do? Realign Finland. Just get that done now. And it says here, Finland has become free at the start. It became free at the start of the Russian Revolution with the promise to join up with whoever wins this bloody affair. Yet we have seen them as an important ally in Northern Europe. If they can, in Northern Europa, if they if they can brook well, if they can break away from this ridic ridiculous idea of a unified Russian Empire. And now, unassigned divisions. What do we do with them? I may honestly... Okay, these are just new troops. We'll bring all these guys to Arabia. So, we'll have list here. Take them down here. Put them in this area. He's going to be part of Army Group 3. Just put them... Put him in Kenya or Mombasa for now, or... Some, yeah, Mogadishu, just hang out there for now. That's going to be done. And he's probably going to help out in the invasion of Arabia. Let's complete this. We'll get Erwin Rommel as a military high command advisor, or he'll just be good for armor. Now, research sought available. Let's make more improved infantry equipment. Well, research improved infantry equipment one. And are we ready? Are we ever ready? We need a few more days before the war can technically begin. Let's declare war, though, on Oman. Start this now. Our divisions are going to be going immediately, and the naval invasions have begun. Hopefully, Oman will be overwhelmed. Time will tell, though. And what can we do? The oh, fulfill the Pan Germanic dream. Austria has been a close ally since their own revolution in 1848, but have chosen to stay out of the Kiel Accords. With the state of the world today, they can't afford this stance anymore. We will formally formally invite them to our alliance and even float around the idea of a unified pan-Germanic union if they are so inclined. And that focus is going to be started now. Let's go ahead and move the first army to the borders of Austria to give them some encouragement. I'm pretty sure that's not how AI determines stuff in Hearts of Iron 4, but I just do that anyway as a standard thing. Just in case it does make a difference, can we land here? Those guys have landed. Muscat, Muscat is going to have to be taken by force. Use force attack, please. These guys got to get out of their area. These divisions I landed south. I hope this naval invasion doesn't fall apart. I really hope it doesn't. They need to succeed to get to the capital. Surround them. Get there. Come on for Germany. Move forward. Attack. Those guys are going to be cut off if they can't get help. They're going to have to attack from the rear. I hope this works out. We have four divisions moving in from the back of the second army. And the tank division has already been defeated more or less. Can you get there, please? Attack from a different angle. Get this done, though. These guys have no supply. They have to do it this way. Stop this attack, though. Move this unit in. They're trying to destroy them. I figured as much. Attack them from this direction, though. This is working, somehow. The naval invasion penalty isn't so bad at this point. And we'll have our... We have Oman. Let's annex all of Oman. That's what, that was the plan. Pass, 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 and annex. And done. So that's some more land for the Frankfurt Republic. And now we'll move in the entire second army and prepare to fight the, what is it, the, this faction here. The second Saudi state, which does not control all of Saudi Arabia. Well, they control part of it, but not much of it. They just, yeah, they just, they just control a portion of it. Here's another army, give them the army two, or no, army four, whatever. What is Austria going to do, I wonder? We'll have to see. Let's complete the focus now. Finished a 48th Division program. In 1920, the 48th Division program was launched to build up the German army into a professional army with little need for conscripts. Now the program near its completion. And we have more military factories. Get more support equipment manufactured, please. Unassigned division, colonial regiments. Bring these guys to Oman. 
that would help out there. Move them out. And let's go ahead and invade the second Saudi state. We'll start that invasion now. The second army is here. Roll in. Overwhelm them. Take care of them. And what is the... Okay, so... What are the Austrians going to do? They have to reply. Can't they? Or do they... Oh, they join. So now Austria is... Well, they're part of our faction at the very least. So let's move all of Army 1 away. But what do we do? I want to focus on... I know we're going to have to fight the Ottomans when we invade Arabia. The independent vilayet of our Arabia and Yemen. So I am thinking of what to do there. And that is the big thing now. We're going to end up fighting the Ottoman Empire as the Frank... Well, the German Republic. So get all of Army 2 when they're war. And we're going to have to set up to invade Yemen as well. Well, we got to take this place here, place here. Qatar. Invade Qatar. Those divisions have been surrounded and destroyed. That's more land for us. The Frankfurt Republic. Annex everything in a second Saudi state. We need that oil. We have... Came, we have... Oh, we are here for oil. That is it. Just take the oil. The fuel. We need the fuel. And get all of Army 2 set up now. Have them positioned. And they are going to get ready for a big war with the Ottomans over Arabia. Oh my goodness gracious, have these guys set up here, these guys set up here, or yeah, and have this army set up here. And once all of our units have arrived in Arabia, we'll begin the war. Also, let's get some supply built up here. We have no railways, like no railways at all in Arabia. So I think that would help out a lot with supply if we just had the initiative on that. So we need to do that now. 48th Division Program. Move this up here. We need to build a lot of railways before we start any wars. We're going to have like 58 divisions down here. We need good supplies. We can't risk having our units get destroyed because of attrition. attrition. And expanding our artillery. Well, no. Let's complete the focus. Factories for the Rhineland. Get 42. Get I mean, four factories. The Rhineland has been the industrial heartland since the revolution of 1848. Yet there is still some space for new and old companies to take hold. Research slot available. Let's start doing MP38. And do we have any air bases here? We have... Okay, so let's bring over a handful of German planes. And there's going to be some preparation involved in in this war with the with the Ottomans and the Yemanis and the Arabians. So move these planes here. Keep setting up new railways. We do need railways desperately. Work on this, please. Expand everything. So build this up. Build all of this up. Level it all up. Get these in position. We just need the railways. Work on improving railways. Build up the infrastructure here for any potential wars with the Ottomans and their subjects. Their faction members, at the very least. What is their faction called again? It's called the the, Constantino the Constantinople system. And do we keep our navy where they're at? I would say so, yes. We may have to fight the... We may have to clash with possibly the... With the... Ottoman Navy. And let's move some soldiers here for garrison duty in what belong to the second Saudi state. How is the German army doing? Doing? They still got to arrive. I need fuel still. I control fuel places already. I, still, I need more fuel. If it isn't enough. Arabia may not have enough to satisfy our thirst. Germany's thirst for fuel. Unassigned divisions. These are infantry. Bring them to Army 4. And I'm worrying that I may have... Okay, I gotta fix this. Army 4 is sort of not doing what I need them to do. Move them here, though. And Army 1 is still in transit. Build more railways, please. A lot of railways. Work on this. Improve them all. Build them up. Oman here needs more rail railways. Get that done now. And we've got to improve infrastructure as much as possible for any potential invasion. Urban Rommel fell ill. Anything else I need to do? Improve this railway here. Connect this. Does connecting more supply hubs make a difference here? I guess it does. Maybe. I imagine it does. I'm hoping my enemy doesn't really... Uh, what is going on? Bohemian Empire is justifying against us. Is that right? Oh, they are. Well, I'm gonna... Okay, so we're gonna go home. From... Go home now. Ottoman Empire will be back later. And we'll be ready to go. With a war or something like that. Let's take all of Armor Group 3. I mean, 1. And take them back home to Germany. Where they could potentially fight the, Aust the Bohemian Empire. So move all those divisions around. Army 3... Army 1, 2, and 4 are defending Germany now. Move Army 4 into garrison duty in Arabia. Let's complete the focus. Allow the Krupp plan. The Krupp family says here the Krupp family has long 
pressured the government to allow the construction of multiple arms complexes in Saxony to somewhat move away from Essen. Now the government has approved the plan. Certainly, oh good, they want this, great, they want the sedate land. Certainly with the help of some money presence. And the Bohemian Empire demands the sedate land. Maximilian of Habsburg Lorraine has come forward with some demands that we hand over the sedate land to their control, citing the large Czech population and historical claims of the Habsburg dynasty. Currently, our legal advisors try to prove or disprove the claims, but it seems solid. Still, the region has been under our control for nearly a century and has embraced liberal and democratic ideals. Will the people even accept the king? Whilst, whilst it is uncertain how far Maximilian of Habsburg Lorraine would go to gain his claims, military action has been hinted at, which, due to the rough terrain, will be costly and greatly unpopular. And no, say no to them. We have some colonial troops here to have to form an emergency army. Army 5, led by this guy. Just defend Sudan land for now until the rest of the military can arrive and just discourage them from attacking. And this makes some more artillery. So do they have a war goal on us at all? They do or don't? The Cossacks, there's some Cossack war going on in Russia. I thought the Council Republics of Russia would have tried to expand by now, but they haven't. And yeah, there's a Cossack war between the Red Cossacks and the Green Cossacks. I believe in this timeline there's no White Army or something, which is interesting. Are they going to attack us or no? We said no. I'm a little concerned there. So, improved artillery upgrade. Are they going to do anything or not? Whatever, we'll bring an army and stand around for a month, and if they don't do anything, I'll just have to assume they don't mean business. And let's get more railways put together here in Arabia. Big mess of railways. Keep working on them. What is wrong? Oh, they declared war like I thought they would. Yeah. So good thing I did start moving divisions away. And they should be arriving soon. The bulk of the German army is yet to arrive. Allow the crew plan is done. They are advancing fast. Wow. They really are. And the army is not going to advance themselves just yet. We need more weapons, more more support equipment. No national focus set. Let's do a peace. Cheswig. And since Cheswig was conquered in 1853, the population has been struggling with their place inside Germany. With rising unemployment came unrest and seditious thoughts. A generous public works and armament program will certainly lower some of these tensions. Some of those tensions. And our allies want to join the war? What do we say? I want Austria to join. The Netherlands wants to help out. Let's allow them to all join. Sure. This will be an irritating war, at the very least. So the German army still has to arrive in bulk. All of Army 1, 2, is here, I think. Three is still... Four is having some time. Well, where is Army 5? Army 5 exists. Yeah, we weren't ready for this at all. And our troops are still arriving. They're taking so much ground, but they're going to have to stop their advance soon. Do we call in Austria to help us? Call to arms. You want to join? Yeah, join. Welcome. Let's start our advance now. Hope to overwhelm the enemy here. Begin our advance from every direction possible. Let's focus on attacking from just Germany, though. We'll just let the Austrians attack from Austria. Attack. we got to attack the Bohemian Empire from our borders. Because we need the war score. I want to annex. I want to make the Bohemian Empire into our puppet. So move in there. Move in our air force. Bring them together here. Start attacking anything in Czechoslovakia. Fly there. Czechoslovakia. Air superiority. Close air support. Good. Move here also. Focus on them entirely. Focus there. Just take them out. Close air support, fighters, I mean bombers, move them there. Move these planes away out of Arabia. Get that done now. Let's also put our fleet back in port because they aren't doing anything at this point. They are existing. Go to port, please, in somewhere in what used to belong to Oman. And get our air force moved away there out of what was Oman. Well, the independent state of Oman. It's part of Germany now. So let's move these planes, fighters, two squadrons of fighters, two of planes, and begin the attack. Launch the attack now, force attack, I mean start the offensive, and the Bohemian Empire probably regrets their decision to fight for Sedane land as they did, but I mean, yeah, they are going to go down relatively quick, I hope. We have tons of troops, and also Austria is helping us out. And I suppose this will be a playthrough for the Frankfurt Republic in the Hearts of Iron for mod, Autumn of Nations. You can check out Autumn of Nations in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Part 2 for this series will be on its way soon.